That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. How it could be, how it should be. Here on the eve of the first anniversary of the apology to the Aboriginal people in the stolen generation, it's incredibly important to remember and to reflect on how much more still needs to be done. We're standing here and amongst this extraordinary collection of art, of photographs, of artefacts, and it is a collection of national significance and national importance. And the fact that it still doesn't have a permanent home where people can use it as a resource, to enjoy it, to understand this extraordinary social history of the Aboriginal people over the past 50 or 60 years right across Australia, to me is a great shame and is a strong reminder that we still have a long, long way to go. Our culture's so old, this is, you know, this is protecting the pyramids, you know what I mean? This is huge. It's a new morning, get up, get up, get up, the day is begun. Rhonda Dixon, who's the chair of our committee for the Keeping Place, a very warm welcome tonight to this uh, beautiful Keeping Place. This is the staging ground, people, Sydney. The next act is Adam Hill, and I think my son might be in there. That's Joseph. <laughs> struggle, you and Aunty Elaine deserve something back. You're not on your own anymore. Anymore. Okay? And we love you. Look at this. 